Hi everybody, welcome back to Fragmental. Thanks for joining me, hope you're all doing really well. In this video, I'm bringing you my review of Jazz Club from the House of Maze and Margiela. Stay tuned to FM. Jazz Club was released by Maze and Margiela in 2013. Notes are Neroli, Spanish Lemon, Peppercorn, Clary Sage, Vetiver, Rum, Tobacco Leaf, Vanilla and Styrax. So I just thought I'd try to explain to you as best I can what's going on in this bottle. So I thought it was going to be a deep, dark, rich, resinous type of tobacco scent with some smokiness. You look at the description on the bottle which says heady cocktails and cigars and the name of the fragrance Jazz Club and it's a replica fragrance so the idea is that it replicates uh, certain environments. So I thought it was going to be smoky, I thought it was going to be um, very tobacco heavy and uh, quite a prominent booziness in there as well. So you don't really get any of that, it wasn't quite what I was thinking it would be. I actually picked this up from Manchester Airport duty free, I was going on holiday and as I walked through duty free I was very surprised to see a Maze and Margiela kiosk there. I approached the sales assistant, had a good chat, she was fantastic, she did a great job explaining all the different fragrances that the house offered. I was really interested in Jazz Club so I smelled it and uh, what was great about it, it wasn't just sprayed on a test strip, they had those pads that they, they spray and it absorbs the fragrance slightly so it emulates the, um, the way that the scent would usually settle and dry down on the skin so you could test the opening on the test strip and then you could get a sense of the dry down on the uh, pads so i smelled jazz club and instantly i thought right i'm having it really enjoyable scent again took me by surprise because it wasn't what i was thinking it would be i picked this up for a great price as well which is another reason why i couldn't walk away without buying it you're looking at around i think 95 to 100 pounds on websites to pick up a hundred mil of replica whichever one it might be this was on sale and then there was a further voucher discount that day so i ended up buying this for around 72 pounds i'm not sure if anyone's found it cheaper online but i was pretty happy with that price so i picked it up took it on holiday and gave it a good few wearings on holiday that was as the spring was starting and i've been wearing it all through the spring and actually I've been wearing this quite a bit through the summer as well. You can see I have put a little bit of a dent in this one. So it's a really nice, bright, lively scent. You look at the top notes, there's some Neroli, lemon, pink peppercorn, but this is definitely not a freshie. This is not that citrusy summer freshie. It's uh, much sweeter and smoother and a little bit more buttery than that actually. I think butter is quite a good word for this fragrance. You get into the mid, there's some vetiver and some rum and then in the base we've got tobacco leaf and vanilla. So obviously that vanilla is providing the whole fragrance with a beautiful sweetness. The tobacco in this, it's not like a real photorealistic uh, rich dark tobacco that you might get from smelling a sweet cigar for example. It's not that kind of tobacco. Tobacco leaf to me is much lighter and fresher. You still get a tobacco hint, but it's much more subtle. So the tobacco is definitely not a front and center prominent note in this fragrance, nor is the rum actually. You do get a nice boozy quality, but it's not a boozy fragrance. You're not gonna spray this on and smell of alcohol. I do have some boozy fragrances, for example, Nasamato's Baronda. That is a very boozy fragrance, but in a really beautiful way. So the rum in this is more like a rum cream or a rum butter that you might put on say a mince pie at Christmas time. So it's got that smooth slightly alcoholic nature to it but it's not a potent boozy alcoholic accord at all like I say it's really smooth and in fact that sums up the whole fragrance. I wouldn't say for me that there's any one note that really stands out front and centre. There aren't really any notes that are too prominent in this. It all seems to blend together really nicely. It's a very smooth fragrance. It's a really sensual fragrance actually as well. I think it's just got a, a lovely, it's got a warm coziness about it, but it's definitely a fragrance that would work in warmer weather as it would in cooler weather. So it's really well balanced, really nicely composed. There's almost a little hint of a caramel in there as well. Not a really rich, 
gourmandish caramel. It's quite a light caramel note, but I feel like it's there. And also, there's a little hint of coconut as well, so there's lots going on in this. It's a really interesting fragrance. You look at the notes in here, you've got the fresher notes in the top, you've got the slightly heavier notes in the base of the vanilla and the tobacco leaf, and this just adds to the versatility of this scent. You could wear this pretty much any time of year. I've been wearing this through the summer and it's worked really well for me. It actually helps the projection, so it improves the performance of this wearing it in slightly warmer weather. I'd probably say if it was really, really hot, it may just be a little bit too much or you may just want one spray of this, perhaps. But generally, the warmer days are fine for wearing this. Like I say, I've been wearing this through the summer and it's worked okay for me. It would really work very well in the fall, in the autumn as well. Might get lost a little bit in really cold weather. I'm not sure the notes in this are that strong to really punch through colder temperatures. There is another amazing Margiela fragrance that does excel in the colder weather. That is the beautiful, cozy, warm by the fireplace. I have done a review of this one, so you can check that one out just up here as well, if you're interested in that one. That would be my go-to replica winter fragrance. This is spring, summer, fall, so really versatile. Also really versatile in terms of who could wear this. It's definitely, in my opinion, unisex. I sprayed this for my mum, and she really did think this was beautiful juice. In fact, she'll probably be coming to me for a little bit more of this one. I've also heard males uh, that have told me that wearing this has elicited lots of compliments from females. So I think it's one of those fragrances that works equally well off men, off women. This could be worn any time of day, it would work well as a casual day scent, but in my opinion this really excels as an evening scent, whether it be a formal occasion or a date night scent. This one is just a great option for that. In terms of the price, I already mentioned that a little bit. So the cheapest prices online, just having a quick search on websites, I saw John Lewis, Selfridges offering this one for about £95 for 100ml. If you go on discounter websites, I know that Feel Unique is one, that's where I purchased my bottle of By The Fireplace and I actually found a discount code to use in conjunction with that website. So again, I got that one a little bit cheaper, but full retail at the moment seems to be around the £95 mark. So it is a bit on the expensive side for a designer, but even though it is connected to a designer house, to me, this line is more like a niche brand really. In terms of the quality of the scent, in terms of the, the packaging that you get, this could quite easily be uh, sold as a niche fragrance if it wasn't connected to a designer house. Let's quickly mention the performance. So I'm getting a good two hours projection from this one and then it's a skin scent for around seven to eight hours. I believe this is an eau de toilette concentration. So I'm pretty happy with the performance of this. So to sum up, this is quite a bright fragrance but with some lovely sweetness, some lovely depth, hints of booze, hints of tobacco, but remember just that light tobacco leaf, not a deep, rich cigar type tobacco. It isn't smoky, it's super buttery smooth. It's crowd pleasing, it's lovely to wear. In my opinion, this one is an excellent fragrance. Okay, that's it from me. Like I said, I wanted to put this review out for you because looking at the notes and the name of the fragrance, you might have been thinking it was something different than what it actually is. So I hope my review has helped give you a better idea of what's going on with Jazz Club. Let me know if you found this useful. If you own Jazz Club, I'm sure many of you do because it's been out for a few years. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you've picked anything up in the notes and the accords of this fragrance that I haven't talked about, then please do leave some comments down below I'd love to have a chat with you thanks for watching everybody until next time keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good <laughs>